games. Hello and welcome to my review series, where I play games and give my honest thoughts and possibly critiques, culminating into a review based on my experiences. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Today's review is by a mutant, and well, you, you're gonna have to listen to the re uh, the review to get the full picture. You play as a mutant creature who goes on a quest to unite the tribes while exploring, looting, and killing along the way, slowly working towards trying to save the tree of life from dying at the hands of giant monsters destroying the roots. Along the way, you meet NPCs who help you on your journey in exchange for some help f uh, from you, of course. As the story goes, it's a fun and enjoyable tale, but I do feel like it lacks something. Something feels like it's missing and it just doesn't quite hit the mark. The graphics here will get high praises from me. Everything in the game looks good. It looks almost real. Nature looks stunning and the art department did a great job with it. The weather system in the game is also pretty good and you can visually see your character get wet when it rains. The game starts out teaching you the controls of the game, and as you progress through the story there are flashback moments of your character as a young child, learning new moves which you can then use in the game. Overall not a bad tutorial, but it could do with a little more in the way of substance. The sounds kind of make you feel a bit immersed in the game, but it is lacking. When the wind blows, you don't hear any of the leaves or grass rustling as you would standing outside on a windy day but you do hear them when traveling through them. The other sounds seem to be all there, giving the geist that nature, nature surrounds you. The narrator does a good job of describing the things in this world to you, and using weird but funny words to describe them with. He is always popping up with advice or tidbits of information throughout the game. The music fits in well, depending on your situation, with relaxing melodies playing while exploring and ramping up to intense full tunes when you're being attacked or in a boss fight. The gameplay could be better. The controls are a little clunky as well as the character's movements when trying to change direction, which can have undesired consequences like getting stuck in enemies and having your ass handed to you. The RNG in the game feels a bit much to be honest and could be made less random. I've only found two pieces of gear on enemies after playing for 18 hours. More bits of candy drop from mobs that do little healing if anything else. The crafting system again needs some work, as there are tons of parts that you can find in the world, and tons of weapons and armor that can be upgraded. But finding the resources can be a pain, as they are found in junk towers that are destroyed, giving you 1-4 to four pieces of that resource. Combat feels very unforgiving at times with mobs overpowering you, and killing you due to being knocked down or getting stuck on objects lying around. Mobs also reset if they are pulled too far from where they spawned, leaving you a very small area to move around and to, jo uh, to dodge and avoid their attacks. The weapons also feel a little lackluster, giving you can run around in a circle shooting out lots of purple lasers from your palm, and deal a lot more damage than some of the weapons do. The game also bugs out at times, like when I was catapulted into the enemy's base where the cursor becomes visible and nothing you do will make the game work, forcing you to close the game and restart it to carry on. The opening cinematic is fantastically animated, and feels like you're watching a movie. The rest of the cinematics use in-game engine to generate so that your character appears in them and not a random one. The default controls are a little all over the place, and will have your hands and fingers in awkward positions while playing on a mouse and keyboard. The game might benefit more when playing it on a controller. The system requirements for the game are a bit high for this, making it less accessible to people with lower gaming specs. The minimum requirements are operating system, Windows 7, 8.1 or 10 at 64, uh, 64 bits, processor, AMD FX8350 or Intel R5-4690K or newer running at 3.5 GHz or higher. Memory 8 gigs of RAM, graphics 4 gigabytes Direct 3D 11 capable uh, video card, GeForce GTX 960 or Radeon R9 380, DirectX 11, storage 25 gigabytes, and sound card integrated or dedicated DirectX 9 compatible sound card. 
the recommended settings or the recommended requirements operating system windows 10 64 bit processor amd ryzen 5 1600 or intel i7 6700k or newer running at 3.5 uh, gigahertz or higher memory 16 gigabytes of ram graphics 6 gigabyte direct 3d 11 capable video card geforce gtx 1660 ti or radeon rx 590 DirectX 11, storage 25 gigabytes, sound card, integrated or dedicated DirectX 9 compatible sound card. My overall rating of the game, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's not great, but it's not bad. You know, while it is a fun game to play, the bugging out issues can get annoying as well as the grindy feel it has going out and looking for resource piles just to customize weapons and armor. The game shows a lot of potential. If the devs read the reviews and see what people find wrong with the game, they could address these problems and make the game better. Other than the issues I brought up, the game has a decent story, with lots of combat, a great map, and great looking weapons and armor. I would love to see this game get better, and the issues in it addressed. If you enjoyed this video then please like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate it all and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.